and welcome to my channel. My name is Emily. Thank you so much for stopping by. A week or two ago, two weeks ago, I made this Mew Mew dupe. Um, it's a crochet set that they're selling on their website and I made the top and today I am showing you the matching hat. It is I had it right here. It is so cute. It came out really fun. It's a very easy tutorial. Um, you could definitely hop around, pause where you need to. It's not like a sit and watch all the way through type of tutorials. Um, take the liberties where you need them, but this is a really easy hat. The original Mew Mew hat is $1,200, which I thought was absolutely crazy. And I made this with like the $5 of scrap yarn that I had. I literally spent nothing to make it, but if you have no scrap yarn, you could probably get away with spending like less than five bucks to make something like this. So that's it. <laughs> if, you like, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up so that I know to keep making videos like this. Subscribe to the channel. Every single person makes me very happy. <laughs> I have like additional tutorials in the description box down below. So if you need them, check it out. I'm gonna stop talking now. Stop. Stop talking to me. Okay, so I have a ton of different colors. I'm going to reference the Mew Mew hat as much as possible, but I really don't think I have a lot of overlap in similar colors, so oh well. I'm just gonna go with what I have. I'm using a bunch of different embroidery flosses, which I hold with the white yarn um, to give a really cool marbly effect, so I'll definitely show you guys that later. A stitch marker is a necessity. And then I'm using a five, 25 millimeter hook. So a 5.25 mil 5 millimeter hook. Okay, and let's jump right into it. The top of the hat starts with orange, green, and blue. I literally have like none of those colors. I have a light blue. So I think if I'm being honest, I'm probably not gonna reference the hat a lot at all. I think I'm gonna start with this color because it is close to orange. And then I will use the darkest green I have, which is this one and we will start with that. Alrighty, so I like to do bucket hats with a magic circle. Um, I will share a better tutorial down in the description below because I know these are really hard sometimes. So let me just run you through. I hold the small tail, the end of it, over top of my fingers, wrap it underneath, and go diagonally across. Take your hook, Go under the first one, pull up the second one, and turn it like that, and then grab and pull, just like that. And I know I say just like that as if it's easy, but I do not judge you <laughs> if you have a hard time with it. So again, there will be a better tutorial down below. So now I'm gonna do 10 half double crochets, which I'm doing the whole hat in half double crochets into the circle. So to half double crochet, yarn over, through the circle, pull up a loop, pull through all three, just like that. Yarn over, into the circle, pull up a loop, pull through all three, and I'm gonna do that 10 times. Alrighty, so that is all 10, and then if you use the magic circle, you should be able to just pull. Guys, I'm so sorry for all the extra noise today. The city's loud, my apartment's loud. Anyway, you just pull that tail nice and tight and your little circle joins together. Okay, so now I'm gonna slip stitch into the first stitch. So just push through and pull through both loops like that. There we go. So now that we have our first circle, I'm going to go ahead and into that last slip stitch, I'm gonna put my stitch marker. I'm gonna chain one, okay, girl. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a half double crochet into the stitch. And then I'm gonna increase. And an increase is when you put, oh my God, I'm really struggling here, aren't I? It's cause I'm looking at my camera and not my hands, whatever. 
It increases when you put two stitches into one stitch. So into that same stitch, I'm gonna put another half double crochet. There we go, like that. And I'm gonna increase all the way around until I get to the stitch marker and I will meet you guys there. You should be counting along and I love to at the end of each row just do kind of a check-in to make sure I'm doing everything right before I go too far and realize I made a mistake further back. So I would recommend always doing that when you're crocheting. This last stitch, when you take the stitch marker out, should be your 10th stitch. So I just finished an increase into stitch number nine. So now I'm taking this out. I usually put it in my mouth, but I guess I need to talk, so. <laughs> Um, okay, gross. All right, so then I'm going to increase into that stitch I just took the stitch marker out of. So one half double crochet. Oh my god, girl, pay attention. Two. Okay, actually, I want to switch colors. So to switch colors, let me reverse. I just did my first half double crochet. Okay, I'm gonna start the second. So every time we switch colors, you're gonna yarn over and pull up a loop, right? But before you pull all three, wait, put it down, grab your new color, and you're going to finish the stitch with that new color. Okay, there's a knot there, so I'm gonna snip, hold on. Okay, so you're gonna hold it and then pull through to finish the stitch with the new color. I'm using green. It's giving watermelon, but I don't really mind. And then I wanna go and into the last stitch, put my stitch marker back. After your first row, now we're gonna start making the circle bigger. So for the first increasing row, we're gonna put one stitch here and then increase into the second stitch. One stitch here, increase into the fourth stitch. So I'm gonna be increasing every other stitch. So one half double crochet, pull up a loop, pull up a loop. All right, girl, we're pulling up a loop, okay. And then pull through all three like that. Now into that second stitch, we're gonna increase. So put two stitches in to the second stitch. So one, okay, two. Wonderful. So I'm gonna continue that pattern of one increase, one increase all the way to the stitch marker and your stitch marker, your last stitch should always, always be an increase every row. So I'm gonna finish this row with that pattern and I will meet you here. Okay, so I'm back to the stitch marker. Take that out. Wonderful. Again, it's very watermelony, but I think I'll like it <laughs> that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase into the last stitch of the round. So one half double crochet and then two half double crochets and then put my stitch marker back in right away. So from here on out, I want to stagger when I change color. Um, so I'm gonna change like about here to a blue. I'll copy them there. Yeah, you know what? S screw the reference. I'm gonna go, <laughs> I'm gonna go with a dark purple. So for this next row, we're gonna do two regular half double crochets and increase into the third um, stitch and then two and increase two and increase so we're just adding one more stitch from the last time so this is going to be my increase and i think on the second crochet of it i'm going to switch colors so let me put that in pull up a loop beautiful and i'm going to switch colors to the purple just to darken up and add a little contrast because the watermelon's very bright, so I'm gonna add a darker color. Beautiful, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do an entire round 
probably a little more, but I'll meet you at the stitch marker like usual. And again, this should be an increase. I'm at my little stitch marker. I'm gonna increase. And I actually think I wanna do another row of green. So this is my first stitch. This is my second stitch. And I'm gonna pick up my green again and finish off the increase with green. We're gonna do another flat row. And now we're just gonna add another stitch before the increase. So, so now we're doing one, two, three, and then an increase. I'm gonna do that all the way around one full row of green. And then probably when I'm back over here, I'll switch colors again, but I will meet you at the stitch marker, which again is an increase okay people see you there so i'm actually feeling a little too much green going on so right here i'm going into stitch number two of a cycle so i'm gonna pull up and i'm actually gonna switch to this lighter purple because i feel like the purple's layering will be fun so this should be stitch number three right one two three and then increase so i just wanted to let you guys know that I switched colors earlier than I anticipated. It just felt like too much green. That's the fun with this style crochet because it's really just how you feel. And the more random, like the more color changes, the better it looks in my opinion. Okay, yeah, I really loved how this is looking very cute. So I'm gonna increase into my last stitch here. Okay, and I'm gonna finish with the pink. So there we go, beautiful. Put my stitch marker back in, great. And then after this, I definitely wanna do a streak of black. So in this row, if you're a good guesser, we're gonna do four. So one, two, we're literally just adding a blank stitch or like a regular stitch every time. So this is two. I'm probably only going to take that to here and then switch to the black. So when you see me end the row, it will be on black. I'm just going to tell you guys now. I'm going to switch it about here. So not right here, but almost a full circle here. And then I'm going to switch to black. So when I meet you at the stitch marker, again, we're doing one, two, three, four, and then an increase. When I meet you at the stitch marker, I will be using a black thread yarn. Oh, okie dokie. So, this is how we're going. I'm at my last one. I told you I was gonna split, switch. Wow, I can't talk. I told you I was gonna switch to black, and I did. Taking out the stitch marker, doing my little increase. I want a full row of black. Black is so hard to see, not only on camera, but in real life. Put my stitch marker back in. Again, I'm so sorry about all the extra noise, but it's summer in New York City and it's the loudest time of year. <laughs> um, okay, so now for this next row, you guessed it, we're gonna do five regular ones and then increase into the sixth stitch. Okay, how many have we done? One, two, three, four, five. So now I'm gonna increase here into the sixth stitch. Now, if you don't like counting, <laughs> which sounds funny to say, but you're always, your increase will always be the second part of the last increase, because that's just mathematically how it works out. But anyway, I'm gonna do a full row of black, and then I really wanna wear this hat to the beach with my brand new bathing suit, which I really like, and I have this yarn that matches perfectly, so. After the row of black, I'm gonna go in with a row of this hot pink, and I wanna bring in a little more of that light purple to balance it out. So these are gonna be our next two colors. Okie dokie, so we are at the end of the row. Gonna finish on my last increase. This is actually a little more black than I wanted, actually, like looking at it now, but I'm gonna keep it. One, two. Put the stitch marker back okay and then again my goal is to make sure that 
colors don't perfectly line up like that. Like I already made this mistake here. So I'm gonna do a couple stitches. This row is gonna do six. So one, two, three. But here on three, I'm gonna switch to the hot pink. Uh, four, I'm gonna do it on the fourth, I lied. Three, four. So I'm gonna pick up my hot pink. Finish the stitch with the new color and then increase into the seventh stitch. Okay, I'm gonna go to about here with the hot pink, I think. I'm gonna keep doing six normal stitches, one increase into the seventh, six, one increase. And then about right here, I'm gonna switch colors to yellow and brighten up that black a little bit so i'm going to do hot pink and then yellow but i'll meet you at the stitch marker like usual but i think we're almost done with the top you only want this to sit right on the top of your head any bigger and your hat's going to be really loose so i think this is my last row increasing this way and then we'll start on the sides but i will meet you at the stitch marker and again right about here i'm going to switch to the yellow I am here at the stitch marker, but this is going to be my last increase. When you put this on your head, you want it to sit and cover the top of your head, um, but where your head really starts to go like, oh, this is where the straight part of the hat should be, that's where you're going to stop. So if you have a bigger head, you could do more rounds and you're just going to keep adding one regular stitch before the increase. So I just did a round of six increasing into the seventh. So if you're gonna keep going bigger, then you would do seven increasing into the eighth, so on and so forth. Um, if you think this is too big, then go back and undo a row or so. Everybody's head is different, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and do my very last increase, okay. So I am gonna put the stitch marker back in just so I can keep track of where my rows are starting. But that's our last increase, um, increase row around. So now I'm gonna change my colors about here. But what we're gonna do for this row is we're gonna do stitches in the back loop only. Again, it's hard to see with the black, but see how there's two parts to the stitch? We're gonna go ahead and do back loop only for one round. So no increasing, just going all the way around, half double crochets, but only into the back loop, like so. Okay, so I'm gonna do that all the way around to the stitch marker and about here, that's what I'm aiming for. I'm gonna switch to light blue, but again, no increasing, back loop only, half double crochets, one round. Okay, so I'm almost to the end of the row, but I decided I wanted to switch colors here. Um, so, in the reference photo, they pair the baby blue with orange, and I don't have orange. And although I'm not really following the reference photo at this point, I still need a little color inspo. So what I'm gonna do instead is I have this white, and it's just plain white, and I have orange embroidery floss, and I f learned how to do this with the Miu Miu top dupe that I did two weeks ago, and I, Think this is the coolest thing ever. I literally just hold them together at the same time and it makes a really cool marbled effect. That's literally all I do too. I hold them together at the same time. So I am going to start a stitch. I'm still doing back loops only. Drop it and pick it up with the orange mixed with the white, just like that, and then keep going. Okay, so I am back at the stitch marker. I'm gonna take that out, 
do one more back loop only. Put the stitch marker back in. And now from here, we're just gonna go on normally. So no more back loop only, whole stitch, no increases until we have the length of the hat, which should go about until mid forehead, and then we'll do the brim. You can see I have all my ugly tails, but that's all right. And the hat is gonna start folding in and create a bowl, like a hat should. So from here on out, literally just doing circles on circles on circles, no increases, no changes, no front loops, no back loops, just normal half double crochets with the full stitch on the hook, like so, around and around and around until it reaches like the bottom of your forehead. So I'll obviously check in with you and show you how it's going. Um, I love this. Isn't that so cool? I can't believe I never came up with this before, but I'm obsessed with that technique using the embroidery floss. So I'm gonna keep going alternating colors offsets. So I will do a few rows and catch you guys up. But again, no increases, no back loops, just half double crochets all the way around and you'll notice a hat start to appear. Okay, so just for a cheeky little midway update, I have just been switching colors. You can see here, I actually kept the coral and did the embroidery floss technique with orange. So that's fun. Um, and I've just been trying to stagger colors and because it's a circle, it's like a little hard. Wow, I just stuttered really bad. <laughs> because it's a circle, it can be a little difficult to um, make sure I'm changing colors enough. So what I'm kind of doing is I'm on this side and I'm eyeballing this side and trying to just use the same colors but on opposite sides, kind of, and that's helping me stagger, but I also don't have that many spare colors. I'm using up my scraps really well lately, guys, which is great news, but this is how it's looking. Fun, festive. It looks like a bowl the way I'm holding it, but it will be a, a nice hat. And I just wanted to let you know, these are starting to overwhelm me. So I'm going to take a darning needle, weave in some of these edges before I keep going. Um, Cause I want a little break with my hand from the crocheting and these just keep getting caught up and pulled and whatever. So I'm just gonna go get my darning needle and weave it in the inside towards its corresponding color, nice and tight. So next time you see this, it will be cleaned up. That's what I'm doing right now. Much better. Much better. Much better. Fun, colorful, groovy. So I'm just gonna keep going along. Again, my method is kind of just looking at what's over here and stacking it on this side and then vice versa. I'm gonna keep going, keep chugging along. Just wanted to update you and I will see you when I'm at my eyebrow length. Okay guys, so I just put this on my head and it hits right above or right at like on my eyebrows, which is where I like the brim to start. This is what it's looking like. Voila, beautiful, having fun, loving it. So for the brim, let me grab my hook. Okay, so I just switched to purple, so I'm gonna go with this for a little bit. Let me do my last stitch of the row. Put my stitch marker back. Okay. So now we're ready to start the brim. So for the brim, we want it to turn outwards. 
So before we did back loop only, and now we're going to do front loop only. So it's really hard to see with the multicolor, but in the V, I'm gonna be working in the front loop only for one row, so until I'm back to my stitch marker. I do want to increase as I go, so whatever you ended up on for your top, you're gonna continue from there. So when we stopped the top, I was increasing into the seventh stitch, so now I'm going to be increasing into the eighth stitch. So you don't wanna get carried away and forget to switch colors, so just try to have a mental note of what your plan is. So I just finished that increase. So now I'm gonna go seven again, increase into the eighth. Okay, so I'm gonna continue around front loop only, eight stitches um, or seven stitches and then, then an increase all the way around. This will end on an increase and I will meet you here because the next row is a little different. Okay, so I just took out my stitch marker and finished on an increase, so I'm gonna put my stitch marker back in. And now, because we've already changed the direction, we can go through both loops of the V again. So for this next row, it's gonna be no increases, just crochet all the way around. Again, remembering to switch colors. So I'll probably do that right about here and it's just crochet all the way around. And then when you reach the stitch marker, you're gonna do another row of increases um, through both loops of the V, then a row straight around, and then another row of increases, adding a stitch each time between, um, so like if you just went and did the increase into the eighth, you're gonna do a row of straight, and then a row where you do an increase into the ninth, a row of straight, increase into the 10th, a row of straight, so on and so forth, and ending on an increasing row. Um, so this is all personal preference. I'm gonna do probably about four rows and see how it looks. So I'll do four rows of that pattern. This one not increasing, next one increasing, not increasing, increasing, ending on an increasing row, um, and I'll show you how it looks in a bit. Voila, I ended up doing, well, I have to finish off. Here is where I went out. I did one row of increases, one row, no increases, one row, increases, one row, no increases, ending on one row increases, so right here, and I tried it on, and this is the length that I want. So um, if you want a bigger brim, you would just keep going. If you wanted a little baby brim, you would have stopped already. Okay. So I'm gonna do two increases into the last stitch. And then I like to end with just a few slip stitches. So one, two, three, just like that and then chain one pull tight snip your yarn pull through i already snipped i cheated pull nice and tight and then just weave in these ends so i'm gonna weave in the ends off camera and then show you guys some clips of what the hat looks like on but that is literally it guys here is a close-up of my color patterns. If you wanna see better pictures, you can check it out on my Instagram, which I need to get better at using. But anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. Why spend 1,200 at Miu Miu when you can make it yourself with yarn you're trying to get rid of anyway?